in the next series of videos, I'm going to show you how to make this little coffee table. Um, this is what we're planning to make in um, woodwork. Uh, it's all out of pine. There's a drawer in there. Um, and the beauty of using Fusion is we can plan what we're going to make. So if you get your project planned well using Fusion, you can change the sizes to a certain extent for, before we go into woodwork. Um, with Fusion, we have the ability to kind of make this parts list, so it shows us all our parts um, labelled up, so the drawer in pieces and also um, the main cabinet in pieces as well. Um, this is a pretty simple table, but um, as you can see, these are all the parts we're going to need to prepare in wood to produce it. Um, we've got some duplicates of different parts. It's just our modelling technique. So I'm trying to get a balance between the easy way to model it for you um, and, I guess, a nice drawing we can take into woodwork to work off of when we're producing the table. This is our working drawing as well. So I've got two details here. Um, I've got a um, orthogonal projection, so three views to show us the main sizes of all our components as they're assembled. Um, and I've got a individual orthogonal drawing here, so um, single view of the um, leg, front leg, and also the other front leg on the side view, and two detail views of them with a few more details of where to mark out those dowel holes for the legs. So in the next few videos I'll show you how to create this the easy way um, using all the different components we need um, in woodwork. Before we get going on the modelling I really want you to understand um, a kind of orbit view shortcut. So this orbit view here if I click it I can, you can see how I can orbit the model around. Um, if I have to come and click that every time I need that orbit tool um, it becomes very slow. So I recommend using a mouse. Um, the center roller wheel of your mouse will zoom out and in. Um, and if you double click that roller mouse, it will zoom all. If you just click the roller button on your mouse, you can um, kind of move your model from side to side. And if you hold shift down, click the roller button on your mouse and will, um, I guess, move your mouse left and right, it will orbit your model. Um, you'll see me in the next few videos like very quickly orbiting the model from left to right to choose certain components. Um, if you can get that, um, I guess, mastered fairly quickly, you will model this project um, with a lot more ease than if you're just using the, the scroll pad on your, uh, on your Macs or your, your laptops. 